don't tell us what the hell happened. Like, I need to know, I need to know. Tell me what happened, cause I need to know. During black women's como la flow. Hispanic Heritage Black Women's Month. I need to know what's going on. These diamonds on my body and they crystal clear. I make magic with these hundreds, watch them disappear. Uh huh. We gon' rain drop some in my ear. If you gon' name drop, let's get it clear. Jesse, woo! Jessie Wu, welcome back to my Chanel. If you are new here, make sure that you like, share, that you subscribe, 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 subscribe. So you can join the Black Women's Tribe during Black Women's. It's still Black Women's Check Your Titties Black Women's Month. During Black Women's, it's a lot going on month. It, during Black Women's, what's going on? What's going on? Black Women's Month. It's a lot going on this Black Women's, okay? Okay, before we get into the rest of this video, I just want to talk about, really, really quickly, the Call Her Daddy podcast episode that just featured Kamala Harris. I don't know if you're aware, but we do have an election coming up. And I think that as a women's, as a black women's, as somebody with a womb, somebody with a vagina, somebody with a uterus, it is very important that you watch this Call Her Daddy episode with Kamala Harris, VP Kamala Harris, as she breaks down women's issues. There's a part of the interview where Alex asked her, are there any laws that dictate what a man can do with his body. One of the biggest conversations in this year's election revolves around a woman's body. Mm -hmm. Yep. I want to take a moment mm -hmm. and can we try mm -hmm. to think of any law that gives the government the power to make a decision. I know what you're going to ask <laughs> about a man's body. Let's no, no. Is there no. any law? No, no, it's no. Look, we are a work in progress, but here's the one of the many things I so love about our country. Part of the strength of our country and our evolution as a country has been through the fight for the expansion of rights, not the restriction of rights, but the expansion of rights. And we still have work to do. But I say that that work is born out of love of country. And it's hard work, but it's good work and it's important work. When you really think about it, the way that Republicans want to turn America into a handmaid's tale season, it's really all about control. Dictating to women what we can do and what we can't do with our bodies, it really has nothing to do with the overall betterment of society. It is just a way to control women. Mind you, it's a way to control us even at the risk of our health. It's quite disgusting. Do y'all remember during the presidential debates where Donald Trump told a bold, hairless, lace front wig lie and said that women, doctors, are executing babies post-birth. In the debate, former President Trump claimed that some states are executing babies after birth. Can you just clarify? That is not happening anywhere in the United States. It is not happening and it's a lie. Just, it's a bold faced lie that he is suggesting that, can you imagine, can you imagine? He is suggesting that women in their ninth month of pregnancy are electing to have an abortion. Are you kidding? That is, that is so outrageously inaccurate. Voting for someone who would tell a lie of that magnitude please be for real i'm pretty sure you guys remember how donald trump had concepts of a plan when it came to supporting us and our families economically well here is kamala harris detailing how she plans on supporting women and our families economically housing is too expensive and we need to increase the housing supply so part of my plan is to 
work with home builders in the private sector to create tax incentives to build, by the end of my first term, 3 million more housing units. Second piece is $25,000 down payment assistance for first time home buyers. Because a big issue in terms of the barrier to being a homeowner is just having enough to actually put that down payment down, right? To get your foot in the door. The other piece of it is we need to give tax credits and and really understand that middle class and working people need a break. And so part of my plan is to give 100 million more people who basically are middle class working people tax cuts, including for young parents, a $6,000 tax cut for the first year of their child's life. I'm really happy that Kamala Harris chose to sit down with Call Her Daddy. The episode was amazing. Please, please, please make sure that you check that episode out and make sure that you vote for Kamala Harris to be our next president. Y'all know what to do. <laughs> vote blue welcome back for another love is blind review we are going to be reviewing episode seven episode six we left off with tim and alex gate we don't know what the hell happened we don't have no footage of what happened between them um here's something else that i wanted to bring to the forefront when it comes to alex and tim right because I've seen on social media how so many people are, Alex, you're the problem. It's Alex. It's Alex. It's Alex. And I think y'all are forgetting Tim's own words. When Tim was first introduced, one of the very first things he said was the yellow shirt that he had on. Someone, one of the guys had said to him, hey, um, that yellow looks nice on you or something like that. My ex hated yellow, so I made sure I wore it around her just because she didn't like it. Okay. Remember when him and Alex first met, they meet beyond the pods. She told her like she didn't like the dog thing. Like apparently this was something that he would do in the pods. They didn't really show that to us. But she told him again, she didn't like the dog thing. And what did he say? I love that you hate it. Roof, roof. I'm a dog. Roof, roof. Then you see them again when they are in the store and he's looking at that farmer's hat. And he's like, you know, I love this hat because it doesn't make me look like a farmer. The whole time he was definitely giving, we are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. He was definitely giving, bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Right? And she's like, oh, I hate the hat. He was like, oh, I love that you hate it. I love that you hate it. Right? I bring all that to the forefront to say, yes, she has said she gets annoyed easily, you know, that she could be bossy, but Tim always gave, I'm going to antagonize you. You don't like something, I'm going to do it even more. Th th those have been his words. And he's not doing these things because he genuinely likes to do it. He has said, because you don't like this, I'm going to do it. Okay, so the way y'all are tearing her down, I need y'all to have the same energy for Tim. Both of them have their things about them that, you know, may not be likable. But it's really weird to watch so many of y'all beat down on her while totally forgetting all the things that Tim has said and done. And also, let's just keep it a buck. The pods did not give romance. It gave constant trauma dumping about his dead sisters which is why it, it, that scene just left me wondering did she say something about his dead sisters did she call him a bitch ass nigga with three dead sisters like what did she say we we have no we have no clue what really happened outside of their word and when i hear them detail the event i hear wrongs on both sides period so yeah, I know some of y'all gonna be like, oh, you just like her. You just like her. You just like her. Two things can be right at the same time. Yes, I definitely like Alex, but I'm also able to remember the actual facts. Tim is not totally innocent in whatever interaction they had that led to her putting her hand on her, her on his mouth, child. All right, without further ado, let's get into episode seven. Good morning from Kana. Good morning. Steven's taking me to a Mexican restaurant. I get to drive. Every time I see Oluwa Steven, I just cannot get over the fact that this, this man might be West African. <laughs> Oluwa Steven, uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm sorry. Vacation's amazing. I never want to leave. Never want to leave her side. You better not. <laughs> You could tell they just been, they've been doing nothing but hunching. Marissa been hunching that damn dangly braid boy. Sun up, sun down, child. She just woke, woke up like this. Yeah, Period. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. Period. Tyler, you ain't shit. I done seen all the TikToks. But we're going to see how this unfolds. We're going to see how this unfolds. <laughs> um, I've been loving it here. Mr. Nuclear Security Officer. Turn Mr. Account Manager. Turn fancy drywall put a upper. Lord. Mr. I owe 30K in child support fees. Mr. Them ain't my kids, but I'm in all they pictures with matching pajamas on. Who bought the pajamas? Let's move on. I need to wear from being less bitchy sometimes. A little bitchy's good. But, um, yeah, but I can work on being kind or decent sometimes. I think sometimes you just frustrate me, and I'm not, I never like get angry or like mean or yell or anything. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, Nick, come on, but I need to be like more patient with you, I think. Come on, Nick. Okay, okay, Hannah, you know what that's called? Growth, you know what that's called? Maturity, you know what that's called? Accountability. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Garrett kind of fine. I ain't gonna hold you. Have y'all seen the way Garrett looks now? He's like grown out his hair. He looking kind of fine now. I don't remember what Oluwa Stevens said about him being a, a, a middle class. I, don't, I forgot the celebrity. But that was so whack when he said that shit. Like, sir, you... All right. Next. I can uh, navigate a ship, like, specifically a USS Naval Destroyer. Have we talked about how fine Marissa is? Marissa fine as hell now. And she can drive ships that can be used in wars. Are my nipples hard? Let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. Let's stay focused. Yes. Yes, God. Marissa fine as hell. This morning I woke up and I thought I was going home. What happened last night between Alex and I, that shit wasn't cool. I'm trying to be positive, but I'm just taking in what he said. Um, I knew he was upset, but I didn't know the extent of how upset he was until he spoke on it, so. Because I see that she kind of can understand where I'm coming from and is willing to listen. I, I am more than willing to like keep exploring this. Are y'all gonna tell us what the hell happened? Like, during Black Women's Check Your Black Titties Black Women's Month, I need to understand what happened. Like, what had happened was, like, is somebody going to fill us in? Like, the way their conversation was edited, it just tells me it was chopped and screwed and we still don't know really what happened. We just don't know. We know he was angry. Because she didn't want to be bothered. And when she kind of tried to tell him she didn't want to be bothered, it made him it made him angry, but then he didn't want to be bothered. But then there was some back and forth where he apologized for being angry about it. And during that back and forth, she put her hand on his mouth. You know, that's a no-no. Just gotta keep it real. That's a no-no. However, we still don't know what happened. Like where were the cameras? Like, love is blind. Like, love is blind. Y'all be shoving cameras all up in people's asses during a uh, engagement move pool scene. Y'all couldn't have the cameras up to let us know what the hell happened? Like, what's going on? She is my fiance and hopefully will be my wife. I do generally love him okay. and I do want to bring him home and introduce him to my family and get married to him. But this whole situation definitely put a hold on it, I guess, until we figure out what happens now. Uh, I need to know, I need to know. Tell me what happened, cause I need to know. During Black Women's Como La Flor, Hispanic Heritage Black Women's Month, I need to know what's going on. What happened? I'm so confused. 
Here go, <laughs> here go Tyler, the national security officer. Okay? Tyler, the national security officer. Mind you, on the Love is Blind page, this is his job. Account manager. What account are you managing, baby? What account are you managing, Tyler? It seems like all you do is manage lies. Manager. Manager Boudam. Do you see yourself getting married in three weeks? Yes. I can see myself getting married tomorrow, to be honest to you. Really? Honest to God. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously, more things to learn, of yeah. course. But, like, I just, I don't think I'll ever find a guy like you ever again. Girl, you don't want to find another guy like Tyler. <laughs> Ashley, girl, sister, sister, ou ba besoin de Tyler, papa. Ou ba besoin de Tyler. Family, holidays. Yes. What's that look like? As far as? Hush. Once we have, like, kids and stuff, like, you get to split it up, I guess. Last year, I stayed home for Christmas. I cooked a big meal for uh, a big mac and cheese, collard greens, um, fried chicken. That's so funny. I, how about I do the same thing? Where did you feed your children, Tyler? <laughs> Where were the children? Mind you, we've seen the holiday pictures of you and your kids. Like, and you all here lying like this? Damn. Make yeah. crab eggs. Do the mac. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want to do that. Ashley, so damn fine. Ashley, too damn fine for this. Oh, my God, my heart is breaking. Ashley is too damn fine for this. What? Like, come up with our own tradition. So, like, mine was, like, s'mores with my mom for holidays. That we, like, we could keep on every year. Like, Christmas. On we Christmas Eve, we do this. We should create our own, like, ornament. Tree ornament. Or, like, just a thought. Yeah, something. But when we have, like, a... It'd be cool even when we have kids. Uh, when we have kids. Like, this motherfucker ain't got no damn kids. Kids. Tyler, we know you have kids. Tyler, Tyler, account manager, national security officer, liar, scammer, swindler. During black women's Como La Flor, Hispanic Heritage Black Women's Month, when are you going to tell her the truth? Where's the truth? I just wish I didn't know none of the stuff I know. Because if I didn't know any of the stuff that I know because of story time with Ricky, I would have loved watching this. I would have loved watching this. Ignorance is bliss, baby. I feel like there is something that's been kind of weighing on me and like bothering me. I just want to like address it. In the pod, I remember you specifically telling me like, we're together, like, I'm going to get you flowers. I've waited a long time to like find the right person. The actions matching up with the words, right? Why does he look so stressed as she's telling her? <laughs> Why does Oluwa Steven look so stressed as she's telling him that he said that he would get her flowers? Like, what is this? Like, look. Together, like, I'm gonna get you flowers. The confusion. I've waited a long time to like find the right person. The and then the stress? Have there been other conversations that mirror this one? And is she repeating herself? Is that why you seem so stressed? Because I mean, if if a guy is, if, if a guy promised to do certain things for you before y'all, you know, get up get together or meet up and he's not doing it, are you not gonna bring that up? Let me know, ladies. Like, let me know if Y'all are doing that, because I would. I'd be like, yeah, you said he was going to do A, B, and C. But I'm only bringing that up one time. After that, baby, we, we good. We're done. I don't have patience. I don't. Matching up with the words, right? Like, I, that's going to be really important to me. You're right. You're right. And I, it, I was using that as a uh, concept. Like, like, it wouldn't be flowers, but it'd be something along those lines that you get. Like, <laughs> what do you mean you was using that as a concept? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Flowers to me, 
I get it. It's not about the flowers. No, it's about. It's just about making church. me feel special. Yeah. Like, right. you know the love languages. You know, I'm a big voice yeah. of affirmation, acts of service person. But my third one is gifts. And like, I show love. Like, I, for Christmas Day, I will get everyone that I know the most thoughtful gift. I'll spend, I spend money on like making people smile. Gifts has always been my last. Even for Christmas, mm -hmm. I think the last time my family was able to like really provide gifts for everyone no. years ago. I haven't really gotten a Christmas gift in like a long time. When it comes this is a good conversation. This is a very good conversation. I can relate to Oluwa Steven because gift giving is not my love language. I grew up not celebrating the holidays not really celebrating birthdays like that like once i reached like 9 10 like my mom stopped you know doing like the birthday parties for me like i never really grew up celebrating christmas holidays it just was that just wasn't my thing so even now like sometimes like when a friend will like i have one of my friends her name's sandra and she always gets me the best gifts and sometimes i feel so bad because i don't think i've ever gotten her a gift like, I just, I'm not good at gift giving. And then now I'm in a relationship with a man who gives a lot of gifts. My man gives me gifts a lot. And the holidays are around the corner. I'm going to really have to step my game up. But I think this is a very good conversation to have so that you understand each other and y'all do what needs to be done so that, you know, Y'all can meet in the middle. Like, I know I don't have to get you something s top quality, like a Kate Spade bag. So, something It's like a YSL bag. I don't even know what that is. Do you Louis Vuitton? You've heard of Louis Vuitton. Is he, like, a big deal? <laughs> it's a big deal. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> Monica, 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 Mo Monica, please, 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 por favor, por favor, por favor, por favor, por you know what? You should have matched up with Leo. It seems like Leo is more your speed. It seems like Leo is more your speed. I'm not going to go too much into Monica because I know some of y'all are watching this, but y'all be the main ones. Some of y'all be the main ones asking niggas for money on the first date. Like, let's not act like Monica is the only person who has this line of thinking where she needs expensive gifts. Okay? I live in Atlanta. Okay? Y'all hoes be asking for Louis Vuitton bags first date. That's dating in Atlanta. Y'all asking for money, y'all asking for a cash app, that's dating in Atlanta. So I'm not going to go too much in, not too much on Monica, but Monica, I need you to understand who you are with, okay? You're going to have to kind of cool it now, cool it now, cool it now, Monica, please. I love you, all I don't want to sound materialistic, but I also want like just to feel special. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right, right. And you know, and I dropped the ball on that. <laughs> Not happy about that. I do recognize that like you wrote me a poem after Dave's meeting me and you sing me Edward McCain and like those things melt my heart deeply. But I also am who I am, like I also want the flowers sometimes. I really don't want to disappoint you. It's just, it's a lot. What's a lot? Moving forward with marriage. It's just like such a massive decision. And I just don't want to feel forced into doing something. Because I don't think that's fair to you. You know, if, if suddenly I'm having second thoughts and next thing you know. Are you like, but I'm so no. confused. No, 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 no. Right I know. No, I'm, I'm literally, I'm so confused. I'm not. Wait, uh, wait, yeah, let me rewind this. So you know, if, if suddenly I'm having second thoughts and next thing you know, are you like the that? Don't want to feel forced into doing something. Nick. Mm. 
That's very telling. Why does Olua Steven feel like he's being forced into doing something? If you were in the pods and you positioned yourself as somebody who was going to buy flowers, who was going to romance her, give her gifts, and now she's looking at you like, hey, you haven't done the things that you said. How does that make you feel forced? She's just making you stand on your word. Now, do I feel like Monica, you know, the the cake, the cake spade bag shade, was that a little too much? Absolutely. That was a little too much. Ain't nothing wrong with a Kate Spade bag. Okay? Kate Spade bag be like $450. Okay? So, all right? But I see wrongs on both sides here. Because I don't think that's fair to you. You know, if, if suddenly I'm having second thoughts and next thing you know. Are you? Like, but I'm, so, I'm so no, confused. No, 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 no. Right I know. No, I'm, I'm Literally, not. I'm so confused. I'm not. I'm not. You know, I'm just. You are. It's okay. Just say it. Like. No, I'm not having second thoughts. You're saying things like second, like, what? what? But you just said you having second thoughts. Just say what you got to say, baby. Say it with your chest, baby. Fuck. I do. And you're not looking me in the eyes. Yeah, I know, because I'm trying to think. Right. Let me think of how best to work. Um, I, I'm by no means afraid to marry you. Like, I am genuinely in love with you. I'm just nervous about the whole thing because it's a huge huge commitment and it's not that i'm second guessing being with you you know i just don't want to feel overwhelmed when the moment comes to meet you at the altar you're not kidding me you like day one we're like i'm in love with you i'm gonna marry you i want to be with you and like you yeah. knew what this was like we knew what we were getting ourselves into you she, she right i was very much hoping you had thought through yeah, 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 yeah. Right? She not wrong. Being so short. Okay. I think it was you shushing that man. <laughs> Monica, Monica, the way you was like, oh, I'm trying to like you, but I can't get a word in. I think things changed after that conversation. <laughs> I kind of think that with that, maybe she's not aware of this, but you kind of come across like you don't like him. And that's okay. That's okay. Just be honest about it. That's okay. And I think that you're kind of frustrated also that he's not keeping his gift giving word. That's okay. Just be honest about that. Be honest about that. I also think with him, stand on, like, stand 10 toes down in what you want to say. You're having second thoughts because. This lady just told you a Kate Spade bag ain't, ain't gonna cut it. So if you're having second thoughts about that, say it with your chest. If you're feeling forced to give her gifts and flowers, say that. Say that. Stop trying to be like, I think Oluwa Steven, you know, I'm gonna need you to tap into your West African ancestry because West Africans, West African men, they going to stand 10 toes down on what they say. Baby, this ain't for me. <laughs> this ain't it, okay? They going to stand 10 toes down and let you know what the fuck it is, okay? They not backpedaling. They not tootsie rolling. They going to let you know exactly what the fuck they got to say and how they feel. Tap into your black ancestry. I know you only three-fifths. Well, your daddy was three-fifths, so that makes you what? Tap into whatever ancestry you got. What is it? Point five? I don't know, child. I'm listening. I'm listening. No, I thought you were like about to cry. I mean, I'm, I'm listening. I, I just, I appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you too. It's a lot. But like, dude, let's take it. You're right. Stop. Like, all that matters is you and I. It's all that matters. Right? Yeah, yeah. I love you. Okay. Y'all think they gonna make it? I don't know. It's the continents are not meeting for me. Monica and Olua Steven, I don't see y'all making it. Oh, right. Oh, hell no. Hmm? <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you. I don't fuck like I like my feet on the ground. Hell no. You got this, babe. Hell no. Hell no. What's going on with these survivor activities they got these couples doing this season of Love is Blind? What's going on? 
I still love you. You know, it's, it, we have what we have, but like, let's leave that where it is and like start anew. Are you on the same page? <laughs> So you're gonna come back to the hotel room? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna say something? I will. You will? Yeah. I will. I, I'm, I'm confused. Like, this is kind of annoying me at this point. Like, I'm confused. But all right then, cool. So we starting over? All right, cool. He was trying to leave this entire experience. Oh my gosh, I'm like, I don't have this man's number. Yeah. Is this man bees? I'm never going to speak to him again. So then what happens then? We smooth it over. <gasps> we have to go see that. Let's go see it. I wanted to know the tea. So she's spilling the tea, but we don't get to hear the tea. <sighs> yeah, let's go. How are you going to see it? I'm, I'm gonna come. <laughs> Did y'all catch that? Why Oluwa Steven ain't wanna go with her? Everybody else going, why he ain't wanna go? Was he feeling forced? Okay. That was so romantic. That was so romantic out there. So much in the romance. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was, I'm sorry. Monica, you doing a lot, but she not wrong though. Like, I'm pretty sure y'all are dragging her, but she's not wrong when you just think about it. Think about it. They are in a short amount of time having to build a strong relationship in a short amount of time. She's not wrong. He promised these things and he's just not showing up the way he promised he would. Now... You being passive aggressive, that doesn't help it. But let's not act like we have never done that as women. Like, okay, well, thank you so much for doing what you promised you was going to do. I'm just saying. Just saying. He's so scared of me. He's so scared of me. He's so scared of me right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, girl, I can't defend you. Monica, I tried. I can't defend you. Why do you want your man to be scared of you? And then here go Hannah, as he should be. Y'all are giving mean girls. <laughs> Y'all are giving mean. It's giving mean. Okay, like, it's giving mean. Sorry, Garrett was like, it's okay, I know, I know, but I just, I just... Mind you, Garrett did, <laughs> mind you, Garrett left Miss Shrek by herself too, and you don't see her confront Garrett about it so it it just girl this ain't it it's it's not giving it's not giving and now you got him coming in I apologize I mm -mm. no 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 this ain't it this ain't it this ain't it this ain't it and and knowing Garrett and the way that his brain works is like I know this man needs to get it out being a quantum physicist he uses different thinking patterns than I do there go that chatty shit Oluwa Steven, you talk too damn much. See, and that's the thing. See, I was just defending you against Monica, but you talk too damn much. You talk too much. We on each other. Like, on you talk too much. We don't need you to break down the chemistry of, 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 of every molecule in, in, in Garrett's mind. Okay? Now take your ass back over there. Damn, this is annoying. <laughs> I see why Monica's hard on your ass. You are annoying. Describe shit, and I kind of suck sometimes with describing shit. I don't know if that's true. Monica, 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 oh Monica. Girl, you ain't have to read that man like that. That's see, y'all not gonna make it. Yeah. I don't think it's like this guy right now. Thank you. This situation, there's gonna be a time for all of us. 
where like if you make it on the show regardless like you're going to ha eventually have people confronting you people that know you you know that are complete strangers like oh i know your entire backstory and for a lot of guys like there are women that are home wreckers out there that are like i don't give a fuck what your situation is i want to suck your dick sorry no you're fine it's happening well, we were talking we were we here you need to understand where you're deep rooted do y'all see how mrs shrek is looking she don't know what the fuck going on i don't know what the fuck going on america don't know what the fuck going on the world don't know what the fuck going on love is blind don't know what the fuck going on. why are we talking about home records want to suck your dick or do i steven what's going on see and that's why monica be beating down on your ass and you know what i apologize to monica she right she right you are annoying this is where I'm coming back. Right? Don't worry. I'll, I'll feed you, baby bird. I'll bring it home. Thank you. Um, Are you going to get your dick sucked by water? No, 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 no. But you will be tempted in a situation that you've never been tempted before because, you know, like suddenly you have this spotlight on you. And you need to understand where you're at. I'll get a friend check. I'll be back. Okay. You need to understand why you're here. Now she left Miss Shrek there. <laughs> Monica ain't shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Monica is funny as fuck. I don't care. Monica, 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 oh Monica. <laughs> I'm sorry. This cast is unhinged and in the best. This this cast is entertaining. This is an entertaining ass cast. I'm sorry. They doing the damn thing. They doing the damn thing with this season. This shit funny as fuck. I can't wait to see your apartment. I can't wait for you to see my house and then of course my bedroom. But mm -hmm. this is my house. You have to wait to see. <laughs> is there a mural of his dead sisters in his bedroom? Or... <sighs> we do it in the morning and you can lay with me or at least lay with me until I fall asleep. <sighs> no. You're right. This is cringy, but it's entertaining though. But it's cringy as hell. Like, why do you have to dictate to him when he's folding his clothes and when he can lay with you? It's 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 giving controlling. It's giving controlling, Monica. Thank you. I love you. You too. Mm. Honestly, if they don't get married, I'm gonna be shocked. If they don't get married, I'm gonna be shocked. Okay, so now everybody's back from the engagement moon, and we back in D.C. I'm younger than you. Ain't I'm more mature than you. You think you're more mature than me? Yeah. And, uh, I thought you were in a better place, but, mmm. It's kind of giving Chelsea. It's kind of giving Chelsea from last season. It's giving Megan Unfox. I have a feeling it's going to get worse with you. Girl, I can't defend you. I can't defend you, Miss Big Back. I cannot defend you and your back. So we're going to take fuck the patriarchy at our house. Sound good. I'll yeah, take the dog out. <laughs> <laughs> this is cringy. I can make a salad. You can make a salad, Nick? Like a salmon salad or a chicken salad. Mm. <laughs> Not a chicken salad. <laughs> um, I can pick yes, up chef. salad and just put it in a bowl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, chef. Is it me or the way she's talking to him is kind of like how I expect men who are like very misogynistic to speak to women. She's kind of speaking to him in a very, what would be the, like, what would be the female word for misogynistic? I, I don't know. But it's kind of, and you know what? He doesn't keep the same energy with her. Like, he gives her a lot of grace. Like, mm, this is awesome. And like flowers. Mm. Yeah, this is cool. Like, I feel like I only ever see this in Instagram pictures. What? Like, these kind of views. Views, right? It's really yeah. sick. Then we got a breakfast nook. Get the fuck out of here. Groceries. Wine. Beer. Flowers. More beer. More flowers. More groceries. And more.
Monica, you don't have to keep beating him down about them damn flowers. Like, oh my God. You know what? At this point, let me go get her some motherfucking flowers. At this point, let me go get Monica some damn flowers. My goodness. I'll be back. I'll be back. Let me go get this bitch some damn flowers. My goodness. It's like white roses. I love her strangers. I love sunflowers. I love all flowers. This is a big moment for a relationship. You get to see each other's social media. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that this is being built up. <laughs> it's not yeah, it's not a big deal. All I do is work, and when I don't work, I go to spear fishing. So, naturally, all I place about is spear fishing. Okay, can we get to the fish? Like, what, what's going What's with the fish fetish? First, the Shrek movie, now we find a Nemo. What's going on? That ain't no little bass. <laughs> okay, we get it. The fish is as big as you. No, you know, you're the best catch of them all. <laughs> He's white. White men love fishing. And all, all my friends who are white men, they love fishing. I don't know what it is about going fishing, baby. You tell a white man you want to go fishing, baby. That man, it's like taking that motherfucker to Six Flags. We're going fishing? Oh my, let's go. Every time they put nuclear security officer in front of Tyler's face, I want to fucking scream. Chelsea, this is your doing, ain't it? This is you and your Caucasians, your love uh, casting doing, right? Dear God, thank you for getting me in there. I don't even want to hear him pray no damn more. Because I know this is all a damn scam. Is he, he probably be trying to scam God, for all we know. Back home safely. Please watch over us as we start a new journey, living <sighs> together. Keep your hands on us, protect us. And when we need it, heal us. Mm. Um, Watch over our friends as well. And also. <sighs> Do you want to say a prayer for your kids? Huh, Tyler? We're done. <laughs> also, just keep watching us. Uh, watch Ashley's family. Please watch over my family. And watch over us as we sleep. It's in your precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh. I was getting cry. <laughs> No, you weren't. I was. Why? That's good stuff. Yeah. yeah. He crying because the, the swindle is working. The swindle is swindling. The swindle is swindling. This man's in tears because the swindle is swindling. Lord have mercy. Hello? Hey, what time is the last tomorrow? Okay, thanks. Yeah, no problem. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, nothing. Just a call from Candy Burst while I'm... Filming my Love is Blind review. <laughs> Walking in wearing black. It was so cool. And then I'm in white and my man's in a white tux. It looks so dark. Not really. I'll be shining up the, the room in my beautiful white dress. Wait, what are you wearing that black? <laughs> I, what is what is the obsession with black, baby? Babe, like, hey, we're black. Well, yeah, we're black. <laughs> but like I'm saying, like... For your wedding, though? Like, you in black? Uh, I don't get it. Does she want everybody else in black? I tell you, I feel like everybody else in black but her, I think that would make her stand out. But if she want to wear black on her wedding, I'm like, okay, that's... Okay. Okay. Black is not me. No. We're not doing black in the, in the wedding. You're so anti-black. Yeah. <laughs> would try me. Okay. Yeah. I'm screaming. Turn off the lights. Not anti-black allegations. <laughs> I'm screaming. Garrett's bringing home a city girl. <laughs> to me, everyone. Yes, technically, you're from like a beach metropolis, so we're not gonna call that city girl. Not him ruining her city girl moment. She wanna be a city girl. Let her be a city girl. You already called the lady Shrek. My goodness. So her, her actually undergrad was in chemistry. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So you get a little bar. Yeah, it's a new bartender right here. <laughs> so she actually makes like a, a skinny margarita, but like the secret ingredient is like honey, which is cool because I gave her the honey. Oh, there you go. Well, we got lots of honey. It's always honey. <laughs> this is cute. It's giving wholesome. And what is it you do? So I'm a clean energy consultant. Okay. Certainly a growing field, that's yes, for sure. It's yeah, it's a lot of job security, which is yeah. great. And it's important. It's definitely important for our environment. She's a clean energy consultant. Don't know what the fuck that means, but yeah, we need more of those because y'all energy be dirty as fuck. Got our masters at John Hopkins. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Well, 
Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see how Garrett is like bigging up her career, bigging up her degree, and his parents are like, oh my God, that's great, that's great. It's funny watching this, like, but all these black podcasters, male, black male podcasters are always telling women, black women specifically, we don't care about your degree. That don't, that don't, that don't get you no man. That don't get you no family. But when you look at other races and other communities, they actually do admire women who are educated, women who do have good degrees. Like they admire that. They praise that. But during black women's como la flow, Hispanic heritage, black women's Latinos month, we're always beat down for being educated, beat down for having really good degrees. That's why you got to broaden your horizons, ladies. Broaden them, bro, bro, broaden them horizons. Okay? Just wanted to put that in there. Taylor was literally the only one that like, I felt like my heart getting ripped out of my chest every time I went in there to talk to her. And we kept using the word like magnetic. Mm. Um, I'd go in there and like, I, just something about it, like, I just wanted to be in that room all the time with her and just felt like every atom in my body just get like pulled towards her through that wall. You notice how Garrett talked about Mishret? He doesn't talk about what she does for him or I like when she does this for me. He just talks about her as an individual. He admires her. Like he truly admires who she is. That's the difference between how he talks about her and how every other man talked about their fiancés in this experience. Just want to put that out there. Did y'all notice that? Like, okay, we have Ramsey's in the kitchen. Okay. Garlic oh my god, I love I like it. it. I love it. I like, like yeah. it more than before. Wow. She really loves the daily braids. Mm. Mm. Well, <laughs> the noodles are quite hard, babe. They are al dente to the max. Al who? Al dente. Is that how it's pronounced? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> Not hard noodles. Wait, a question. Are we doing? A religious, sufficient, no religion, spiritual. What are we doing? She needs to be a female. No. I don't want a man marrying us. No offense to All right. you men. No cis heteros. Yeah, I will actually take. I'll take anything. Yeah, anything that's fine. Else that's cis Damn. Marissa don't like misogyny. Marissa don't like. She really don't like misogyny to the point where she don't want no cis hetero man marrying her. The Navy must have did a number on her ass. She didn't want a man from the Navy. Like, I really want to know what happened to her at the Navy. Because she... Maybe Ramsey's is the perfect guy for her. Because he really doesn't give... She, he said he's not into traditional masculinity anyway. But this, I mean, this is interesting. God couldn't... Take a back seat. My mom would be like tripping the fuck out right now. Girl, you don't want the Lord at your wedding? No, what did the Lord do to you? Now don't get me wrong. Misogynistic men have used the word of God to beat down on women for centuries. So I get it. But the Lord ain't do nothing to you. Jesus ain't do nothing to you. Jesus died on the cross for your sins. Jesus was out here turning water into wine. And here you are drinking wine because of Jesus. Lord have mercy. God is white in a church, and you're taught white beliefs when it comes to religion. You start to believe a lot of those things. She ate that. She ate that. Okay? Because last time I checked, Jesus had hair of wool. All right? But y'all be having white Jesus. You know what I'm talking about? Like, y'all be having Caucasian Jesus, pink toed Jesus. And when I read the word, that's not the type of Jesus that Jesus was. That wasn't my Jesus. When I read the word, that wasn't my Jesus. She ate that. People I've met throughout life have been, and, and some of the nicest, mm -hmm. have been like Mormon people. I was with you until you said Mormons. <laughs> not the keep sweet people. <laughs> Girl. The Mormon church is not a good example. Sorry, sister.
I was with you until you said, the, sorry, sister. Yeah, no. Nah. No, nah, girl, that ain't it. I can't look at the military and say, like, it completely sucks because it changed my life and provided me opportunities. When someone says that, like, oh, I have all these benefits now, at the what, at the benefit of what? Like, the demise of another country. Or... So, you so you say you support the military. I don't support half the shit the military does. What we do in other countries, I don't support. I mean, I did when I was in the military. I love this discussion, but... This ain't what I'm watching Love is Blind for. <laughs> like, this discussion is great, but this ain't what I'm watching this show for. I'm gonna just let y'all know that right now. But you know what? I think this season we've seen so much talk about voting, so much talk about military, because most of the cast has somewhat been involved, either been in or been involved somehow with our, our military, our armed forces. And so... It makes sense. We have an election that we're about to see. So I, I get what Love is Blind is doing. But I look forward to the next seasons not being centered around this. Because baby, these ain't the conversations I want to have when I'm watching Love is Blind. But it's cool though. If y'all tell me to push the button, I don't think I can push the button to shoot an a, a airplane down. But I will tell you, I didn't understand the gravity of that. A lot of kids sign up at the age of like 18 and like... Mm. You know, they see atrocious things. These service members go over there and they're kids. And they do, like, horrible things. And they, like, it's just, I don't think we really, really understand, like, what we're signing up for when we do it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> what? He's like, so you didn't know you was going to go out there and kill people? <laughs> Dangly Braids is confused. He's like, okay, so you signed up. <clears throat> To use weapons of mass destruction and when the time came for you to use those mass destruction weapons you didn't want to use it that's dangly braids is not seeing the layers in her conversation i mean i i see both sides like i see both sides here but again i i don't care for this conversation on this show like i i'm bored I'm feeling judged. Are you? I'm feeling judged. Like, I don't like, want you to feel judged. You have a great heart, babe. I don't question that. <laughs> it's okay, baby. I'm comfy. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Now she's uncomfy. Not this. Not. Not the ghost of Chelsea coming back. What's going on? Okay. It's like, yeah, while I was on the Navy ship, while I didn't push a button to shoot off a missile, I supported operations that did kill people. I know you don't like my military service. I don't know if you would have wanted to be engaged to me two years ago. Honestly, I probably, probably uh, not. Being in the pods, I didn't want that to be like your like sort of defining thing. I wanted no. to get to know you beyond that. It's crazy because so now you're with someone who is somewhat just in the military. But mind you, you didn't pick Bodhi because he was in the military. So this man is judging you for the same reason you didn't pick Bodhi, who, to be honest, you would have been a perfect match with, a better match with. But because of Dangly Braids' sign, him being a cancer, mind you, I'm a cancer woman. I would never date a cancer man. Okay, did that in middle school. I found that shit out in middle school. I will never date y'all again. Cancer men are emotionally violent. Em like, they are very emotionally intelligent. And they turn that shit into violence, bitch. No thank you. I did try to do the reserves. And I could not be back in that environment. So. But why would you go be a reservist? Okay. Uh, what do y'all think about these two? I, I don't know. It's, girl, you should have just stayed with Bodhi. Come to find out. You are in a relationship with a man with dangly braids and he's judging you for your military service, but you didn't pick the guy you had a better connection with because he was in the military, just like you. All right, y'all, jump in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this episode. It's a lot going on. Let me go ahead and try to catch up and watch the last two episodes before the finale and I can get them videos out to y'all but um I don't think y'all know I'm not a fan of Marissa and Ramsey's I'm not a fan of that couple uh I do think that the Shreks are gonna make it 
when does Tyler finally talk about his kids? Maybe in the next episode? I don't know. Uh, but go ahead and drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next one. These diamonds on my body and they crystal clear. I make magic with these hundreds, watch them disappear. Uh huh. We gon' rain drop some in my ear. If you gon' name drop, let's get it clear. Jesse, woo!